everybody. I am continuing on with my Foxglove Forest journal and I was just starting to put the cover together for the lace bits and I thought oh I'll just chuck the video on because you might want to see what I'm doing and so I'm testing out this little machine that was uh, given to me which I will gift away to someone else and because I don't need one and I thought I was videoing and I wasn't so all I've done is sewing on onto my base piece I've got a little piece of lace here a thicker piece a little bit there one down the bottom here and I'm just about to play with some uh, if we can find it oh, there it is a little piece of coffee dyed muslin I just want to put that sort of there underneath this piece which I will just like like spiders webs this stuff right. so I was going um I was talking away and then I thought oh fast forward this bit and <laughs> I haven't even been uh... <laughs> haven't even been that's not going very well it's not uh, doing a very good job actually Pull that one out. Doesn't look very good. So uh, I was given two machines, and I thought, oh gosh, what am I going to do with them? Because I don't need them. So I, I checked one out, and uh, when I was at work, a little girl came in with her dad, and she was learning to make scrunchies. She was very excited because she'd been given a sewing machine from her great grandmother, and I. I gave her my card and I said, now, if it doesn't work, you give me a call because I've got a couple of sewing machines to give away. And she rang me and said the one that she got from her great-grandmother was 70 years old, so it wasn't working all that well. So she came around. She was jumping up and down the spot. She was so excited. So, but it worked a bit better than this one. So, tension's not very good. And how is everyone? It's sort of uh, it's an overcast, uh, wet and gloomy day here in Adelaide, which means that it's it's cold, but it's not quite so cold because with the rain, it tends to uh, doesn't get quite so cold when it's raining. My uh, moving is going well. We pulled out all of the. The cupboards, the the floor cupboards out of the out of the lounge room. I'll pop a photo here. And uh, so it's looking very bare. Yes, I don't think this is going to be going to anyone's home. This one's going to end up, uh, I'll give it to my son, he likes to take things apart. But luckily, you can't really see it and it's it's just really just tacking it down so it doesn't really matter on here. But I think that's all I'll do. So hold on a second, I'm going to get rid of this and we'll get back onto the signatures. Okie dokie, the machine is gone and I'm back. So here is our very uh, weird looking cover. So I'm just, it's actually hard to see the, <laughs> the threads. Every now and then I'll find one, cut it off. Okay. I, w I will get all of those threads. So I have got some of the lovely papers from Tanya at Tatty Treasures. This is the Foxglove Forest and the link for the kit will be down below. And I have, I've sorted out, I've got 
I'm just going to go through so you can see. So I've decided I'm going to have two signatures and I haven't trimmed the edges of these yet. So let's have a look. So we've got lovely paper from Tanya with beautiful foxgloves digitalis. Uh, this is, uh, I found an old pad of calligraphy practice paper, um, a some ledger sheet. This is another piece um, of Tanya's Foxglove Forest. Now here I've got, I've got to put these together of course. I, let me get them out. I printed, I printed some paper, digital paper. This is from Roxy Creations. From Rachel at Roxy Creations and I printed them onto envelopes double-sided and they look really cute so but what I'm planning on is going like this uh, one and then they'll be stuck together and I will open the ed edges and have two pockets okay so uh, from I don't I can't remember which kit uh, this is some handmade paper out of an old book. Uh, another piece from Tanya's kit. Uh, some old scrapbook paper. I've folded that up, just cut that little bit there so that will be not in too much bulk in the spine. Tanya's paper. I've just backed it with, uh, this is from the Graphics Fairy, just a piece of old paper. Uh, now this is, let me get my book. I picked this up at a an op shop for like a dollar or something. And it's, the paper's like quite thick and it's only one sided, the, the colorings and they're perforated so you can take them out. They actually make really cute uh, pages. So I've popped one in there and you can write all over the back. This is uh, one of my digitals. Let me show you. Just, uh, just some. Uh, that's. I think. I'm not sure if I reckon that's more like a lupin than a foxglove. And this is just generic -y, like botanic page. Music on the back. Coffee dyed music paper. And then that's. that's we'll go through so you can see the other sides of the pages. Beautiful fox gloves there. Oh, this is a little owl. There. I don't know what's going on with my printer. See, it doesn't usually do that. Printed it all the way through. And the back. So that's one signature. And then this is. So they've got the same. Uh, not uh, not Tanya's papers are different, but everything else is the same. So. That's uh, my digital again, uh, a different colouring in sheet. This one's got uh, fairies and a castle. Just thought it went with uh, the forest, Foxglove Forest theme. One of Tanya's digitals and just some paper from the Graphics Fairy. The scrapbook paper again. It's, it's an, I reckon I had it for my kids. And, like, you know, my oldest is now 30. So, because it's usually not very good paper, it's gone all yellow. And it's never white anyway when you when you buy these, uh, the cheap kids' scrapbook um, pads. Tanya's music, coffee dyed, another. Now, this one, I only had three. I'd only done three envelopes. And I haven't got any more envelopes that size. So, this one, I will, uh, I'll put something on there and and still open it for a pocket handmade paper tanya's paper just some ledger paper the calligraphy paper another one of tanya's papers graphics fairy on the back just plain papers and go through so lots of writing space and here i'll i'll put something on there to make that a page and there we go. Colouring paper and there. So thinking I'll have this as my first 
page when you open the journal. It'll be in here. So I think I'm just going to sew straight into the lace, but I probably need to reinforce it a bit. Although this lace is pretty thick. Hmm. Will it be too floppy? No, I don't think it will. I'm just going to sew into this. So let me get my uh, book binding stuff. Not everything's gone. We had a bit of a standstill and we need to plaster some damage in the walls. And so we can't move anything else in there. And we've filled up my son's old room, so there's no... Uh, I can't take anything out. No, I don't want to do that. Now, I actually was just thinking, people, thinking, thinking. Am I going to cover this? Where are the covers are over here? Because I left, have left them out here in the cold, they have bowed ever so slightly. So I just have, uh, have them under some heavy books. So this is going on here. And that one will go on the back. Now my question to myself is, do I leave it out a little bit? Like Because I don't need a huge spine. I think I might leave it out a little bit. On each side. But I need a pocket, I reckon. Oh, look, there's another fan one. Another one, people. So we could put a little... Uh, need a deeper pocket. Maybe this is big enough. Hmm. More. I haven't got much lace out. It's all been packed away. You want a nice edge on it though. You see what I have got? I've got two drawers over there. Hold on a second. Found some. Oh, I think my husband's just got home. Cockies have gone bananas. Right. So then I can. Yeah, because you want to have that nice edge on the pocket, don't we? And do I go all the way through? I reckon I do. Uh, I don't really want to get that sewing machine out again. And my, my machine is... I can't get to it. Sew that along the bottom. Do I do? I do. Have I got the right way? No, I don't. And I can have it. Oh, look, you get a little few little extra bits down there. Is that a deep enough pocket, do you think? Let me just grab something. 
Yes, that's deep enough. All right, I'll be right back. I've got to try and move some boxes to get to my sewing machine just so I can go along there and up there and up the middle. Be right back. Okie dokie, we're back, we're back. Only a few seconds for me, but a little bit longer. I mean, a few seconds for you. Rewind. A few seconds for you, a bit longer for me. So I have sewn on uh, some lace along there so that there's a front and back pocket. And, oh gosh, I wonder if I'm ever going to find the last of those. <laughs> and now I've just clipped this on because I need to work out where my signatures are going. And I've cut this piece, which is a bit... Uh, no, it's the same length from, I should make it the, I should make it to there. All right, just fold that over. So I can just make myself a little bit of a template. Temperature's dropped and everyone's, you can smell the smoke everywhere. Everyone's lighting their fires. Oh, we don't, we don't. Oh, we have one outside, but not an inside one. So, uh, first of all, I'm just going to find the middle because that will. Because obviously, my signature is going to go on each side of that. Now, actually, this should be this long. As long as what's the longest one? Oh, it's a bit shorter. That's okay. Righty who? So we want one in the middle. That's easy to do. Pencil. So in the middle. What do we got here? About what is this? Uh, it's an inch and a quarter. I'm just going to go over like that because then I can use my one inch mark. So. I can go one, two, uh, so that's one, two, three, six, so I can go one, oops, sorry, one, two, three, that's a bit too far over, um, that's the centre, I'm thinking about uh, maybe there, I think. What's that? One, two, three, four, five little. Uh, what are they? Sixteenths. Uh, two, three, four, five. So that's. I'm going to do one. That's been my centre hole for the signatures. And I think I'm just going to do uh, an inch down. An inch down? Yep. That would be more than enough. Very technical. An inch, and then we did, what was it? Five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. down here so you're probably wondering why am I why am I you know doing these on either side because obviously for my template I only need the hole here here and here well because this is just book page it's not very th thick I will be able to have it there and then I can just rip it away so I'll get my signatures done but obviously to punch the holes I'm going to use the center so let's just my handy dandy 
punching cradle that my hubby made for me and I just have to make sure I've got everything where I want it. Actually, I think I should glue those together. Don't you? Yes, because you know what's going to happen? They will move. Right, where are you, glue stick? Oh, there you are. Now, I'm going to put the glue on here because this is going to be a pocket, so I don't want that to... close up. That that's so soft when it's so cold. Cool. Right. Oops. Oh no, I haven't done it right. Oh, it won't matter anyway because. That's going to be the folded part, so it needs to be like that anyway. Right. Put that, I think we'll have that central. I think that one's... I will come and do the edges. So if you haven't used a punching cradle before, you've got uh, a little, I don't know if, can I get it that way? Yeah, so there's a little groove down and that's 45 degree, if I go like that, or right angle there, 90 degrees. So 45 on each end side, little groove so that you can put your awl down, but then it stops at the wood. So you know, you know how the awls get bigger, you end up uh, with, if you go through too far into your foam or whatever, as you go up, the holes get wider, 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 but this makes it stop. So, tis good. Right, and now we, this was a bit shorter, wasn't it? So I'm just going to, I'm going to eyeball that in the, ah, because I'm going to eyeball it, I'm going to punch them all together. Yes, yes, yes. they're all flush with this end of, oh, sorry this end of the punching cradle and now if I eyeball this to the center ish ish so that means that both of my signatures all their holes are in the same spot and we know that that one finished with the music this one started with uh where did you start that one that's that one and that's that one there we go put that back oops doesn't want to fit there we go kind of kind of in a roundabout way now, as I said, this, so that I get my, I might just punch those into some foam. And I'm just 
going to put this where I want it, which is lining up with the boards. And then I can put that one there. That one here. Right, take those away. Okie pokey, let's get this party started. Oh, actually, while I was, I better tell you, I decided to put a little piece of lace down the side so when the cover sits there, it sticks out that way. Because I thought, oh, that's cute. We'll just do that. Now, this is my, oh, uh, no. Yes, I'm going from here. This is my second signature. I like to sew from the back. Some people like to sew from the front. It actually, with this type of uh, thing, it doesn't really matter. But that one's on top, so that's what I'm going to use. Right, uh, we'll go with the cream. Yes, so you won't really notice it very much. Needles, beeswax. And I'm just doing a simple three-hole pamphlet stitch. Uh, I probably don't even need that much, but... Definitely don't need that much, but that's okay. I just like to run it through the beeswax a couple of times. I mean, this crochet, this is just the... Oh, this is old as, but it's um, crochet cotton number 20. So the higher the number, the thinner the cotton so I've got another one here uh, so this one would be an 18 because it's fatter uh, I've got any others and uh, I find it uh, I mean it's a lot more reasonable than buying the the proper thread linen thread and I actually was given a whole heap of it so I'm using it up Okie dokie. Now, I think um, middle or outside? I'm just, do I want the, the ends inside or on the, oh, if I have them on the outside, I put a little dangles. Yes. Okay. So we're starting from the outside, which means this hole, go through there. I've got a blunt needle, uh, embroidery needle, so, uh, and I'll just, I'm just going to clip that in there so I don't accidentally pull it through. Okay, so through the centre of my book. Now, this is where, because I can't see the other side, I'll have to poke through there so I know where I'm coming. There we go. Beautiful. big long thread on there hmm okay let's undo that starting again I don't want the big long thread on the outside of my journal I don't know, see that hole put this through so I can see
there so it doesn't escape. It's nothing worse than pulling and then all your threads pull. I'm still going to have long threads, aren't I? Uh, but I'm not going to have to... Oh, either way, you have long threads. Okay. Alrighty. Talked myself into it. Because it won't matter because, uh, of course, you tie on each side. Goodness, this hole's getting a lot of use, isn't it? So even though this is going to have the hard covers on the front and the back, I would call this a soft cover, soft cover book because the spine is going to be soft. Right, through there. Come everywhere, Mandy. What are you doing? So I like to do my fisherman's knot, which is uh, going through the loop twice. And it won't come undone. Right, let's trim that. I think we've got enough for the other side. So we're going in there. We shall just clip this. Yeah. Oh, Mandy didn't go through all the way through his sausage. Let's take those off. Let's put it on here. Make sure I've got my holes all. Yes, they are all lined up. Got a few more bits of lace to go, more layers to go through on that one. It's harder to go through the backwards, isn't it? Let's 
through that hole. through once through twice and I made sure that I had uh, these tails one on each side of that center string right and now this can just come away cool Okie dokie, so I will find some beads and or some charms or something just to hang off that and then I will have to just put some uh, plastic or something there and these will get glued on the front and the back. Oops, and that's how our little journal is going to look. Cute. All right, I'm liking that. All right, so what I will do while we are, <coughs> excuse me, off in, uh, in our own little worlds, I am going to uh, glue the covers onto the lace. I will be using uh, my... Express it clear gel, which is strong like um uh like Fabri-Tac, but I don't have Fabri-Tac. Oh, oh no! This one's nearly finished, and I've packed the other ones up. Oh no! Okay, well we'll have to go through what I happen to have here and see what I can use. Uh, what have I got? Uh, turbo tacky glue. That should work. Okay, we'll be using Turbo Tacky Glue because I've packed all of uh, my next ones. Ah. Oh dear. Ah, not to worry. I'll be using the Aileen's glue. Let's start that again. And uh, when we come back, I've uh, while I'm in front of the TV, I'll be cutting out all of these little bits and pieces and we'll do a little bit of decorating inside the the book and then I don't know what I'm going to do with it maybe maybe it might go on my coffee shop or I might I don't know I don't know anywho so that's where we're at today I'm going to stop there otherwise the videos go way too long it, the, I can smell people's uh fires and it's making me sneeze so i'm going to go inside because my heating would have turned on and i will see you again shortly no promises to when that'll be but because uh, i'm still in the process of of moving spaces um but everyone thank you for joining me and you take care and i shall see you next time toodles